The word fear means an alarm. When you are alarmed at something, it means it's not normal to you. That situation, that circumstance, that situation is not alarm and you are uh, it's not normal and you're alarmed at it you are frightened at it it makes you apprehensive it makes you stand in awe of whatever it is the situation that is confronting you the word fear is, means a consternation that means something that brings you a disdain you don't like it a fear we are trying to define the word fear. We are saying that as you make the definitions, examine yourself and look at it. Do you fall into any of these categories? As there is an antidote, a medicine for that. It means a dread. You dread something. Like we have said, the Christmas season. In Nigeria, we have what we call the Umba months. The Umba months are dreaded months. Once we enter the months of September, I don't know if in other African countries or all over the world, but using Nigeria as a case study, once you enter the months of September, October, November, December, that is the last quarter of the year, of any year, the locals call them Umba months. Umba means no. What are they saying no to? to deaths, untimely deaths, to accidents. They are saying no to misgivings. They are saying no to misfortunes. They are saying no to a lot of bad things that characterize the months of September, October, November, December for those that don't know the Lord, for those that are in the world. I categorize it because for children of God, none of these calamities. In fact, for a child of God, using myself as an example, it is September November, October, December, meaning that they are the very best of the months. Because at each end of the year, I can look back and say, Ah, <laughs> to God be the glory, great things He has done. So love He the world that He gave us His Son, the violent offender. Who truly believes that moment from Jesus a pardon and blessings receive. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the all hear his voice. Praise the Lord, oh yes, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Who come to the Father, to Jesus the Son. And gave him the glory, great things he has done. Yolua, Yolua, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I begin to say praise the Lord. <laughs> Why? Because good things, things, his goodness and his mercy. I begin to enjoy God's riches at Christ's expense in an on unprecedented and accelerated manner what didn't happen the good good happened in january february march april may june july august or from september the best the very best begin to happen to me and i can look back and say ah, come and join me sing hallelujah jehovah jireh has told me well Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done me well. Begin to sing and rejoice because of the good things. So for children of God, we are not alarmed. We are not apprehensive. We don't turn blue. <laughs> hey, now, yellow people, people will get like on the skin. You will see their color, they change in times like that. You see, no qualms. We don't have any qualms. We are not terrorized by anything. You know, no apprehension, no solicitude, no suspicion. In this time, suspicion. Some people don't even eat the food they give to them. They just trash it. Fear of being poisoned. You see? So, it's to dread. It's to have a horror of, a phobia about 
Some people don't like to travel at Christmas right, because they have the phobia that there are a lot of accidents on the road. You see, some live in fear. Some have butterflies in one stomach. <laughs> Those who want to travel and they're afraid of witches and wizards they have butterflies in their stomach. That means, ah, when they remember some bad, bad things where they happen for where did they come from, they say, ah, their belly will begin turn. You see, some shake in their shoes. Fear of that witch. When they travel, they'll be shaking. If somebody shake their hands or they give out money, they'll be afraid. You see? To shudder at, to take fright, to tremble at. But we are here to say that if you are on the lost side, to fear also means to have respect. People will respect you. They will give you, they will reverence you, they will stand in a way of. That's another video. Let's leave this one on the negative. Which is that before the Christmas, there is a lot of negativity on the air, a dread, a fear, uh, uh, an apprehension, a forbearing, an unease about so many things. What to eat, what to drink, traveling, the children, school fees, the new year. <laughs> so much to fear. That is pre-Christmas and post-Christmas. The new year, what does it hold? Or some even eat credit to buy Christmas cloth, Christmas shoes. Those of you working in the offices, they will bring clothes for you. Ah, buy this one, madam, we like it. Ah, buy this shoe, your child will like it. Hey, buy this one. Pre-Christmas, you finish buying. Post-Christmas, you are living in fear. And they begin to deduct the money. To deduct the money. <laughs> My senior pastor bought things for me only in our first year of marriage. After that, it took several years before he bought me anything. It was okay by me. What happened? When he went to the office, he brought me, I can never forget that dress. I can only see it in my mind. He bought me a yellow wrapper, yellow and black wrapper on credit <laughs> for Christmas. <laughs> when he brought it, I was so happy. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. But after that, the next one month it was terrible. People that are sold that say, when you receive salary, they are not even waiting till the salary come before you begin to hear visitation. Eh, that my money. Uh, I want to pay school fees onto this. And you come and relate to me. Immediately, I just knew that it was on credit. I said to myself, please, I beg you, don't buy me anything again on credit. Don't. He said, ah, but a civil servant, we don't have savings, so that is how we buy things. So it's when the women bring, we cannot buy on credit and then begin to pay. I said, not me. Buy nothing for me on credit. He said, then it means that hmm, it will be hard for him to buy me anything. I said, accept. I said, don't worry. I came to this marriage prepared. Before I got married, I was buying Hollandis. I knew I'm going to get married. So I was preparing myself. I was preparing my place, my purse, my cooking utensils, everything. I was buying Hollandis. I said, I'm going to be, I will dress responsibly and all that. But before I got married, when I, I was like, I said, this woman that will come. I now gave out all my wrappers. My holidays that I bought, I gave it to my old women, my mother's mates, all. I just gave my mom my box boxes. I said, share them. She said, what will you use your husband? I said, don't worry. And I went and bought low quality dresses, low quality wrappers. I now so I'm not pregnant, so I now so maternity, not too big, just moderate. I did so the way our young girls so now. Some of them can't even breathe in the name of fashion. One was fainting in a church service I was. And I said to her, I said, this, your dress is too tight. It's too tight. Say, yeah. So I'm going to me, they say, no, me, I'm not going to wear maternity gown. You begin to see them on Facebook showing their belly. The wear tight, they begin to show their belly, doing like this, like that. Just encouraging witches and wizards to come and have a feast on you. Then some again, no baby. And they are still wearing tight, tight, tight. I'm not telling you to wear bula, bula. But let them be suspicious. Make it free. So you turn and say, ah, is she pregnant? Ah, it's like she's pregnant too. Ah, is she pregnant? They are praying for you. You don't know. But when you are flat, you will go and sew the dress. You are looking for the child two, three years, five years. You are still going to sew. And then you sew slim feet. You say, ah, she has, from far, oh, she has not gotten pregnant up to now. Oh, she's not pregnant. Oh, she's not pregnant. Me, I'm not in that league. I had it in mind that I'm getting married. I'm going to have my children. So I went, after I dashed those ones, and I went and bought free, free, I bought 
cheap wrappers and also free gown not too big but at least you know just moderately elegant but dresses that can also serve as maternity and i got married like that and i told him i said don't worry oh don't worry i came to this marriage prepared <laughs> You buy for me, no buy for me, no wahala. I am prepared. I'm loaded. Prepared for this marriage. And it took years, years. He didn't buy, and I never wanted to ask him. He didn't buy Christmas for me. He didn't do this. For me. No, no, no. Even food safe. If anything he gives me, I'll take it. Same who said the food is not sweet. <laughs> if he says it's not sweet, that time I say, ah, manager, it's like your post don't change. If your post don't change, let the allow it change you because I will cook as I have. My mom, that's the training she gave us. God bless her. The God is come for that. She would never, never say she didn't teach us to jack up. No, whatever you have, use it. Okra. They taught me, they say, when you are getting married, make sure that you have pepper at home. Dry pepper. That is dry pepper. Crayfish. Maggi. Dry okra. <laughs> then if you can afford it, you see. But those three like this. And you put on a pia, 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 pia. Food you don't do. Then when we are boy and daddy, they say they go come cut their own okra to be like meat for inside. <laughs> no need for expensive lifestyle in the name of Christmas. So for the Christmas, you are worried. Hey, how will I do this Christmas? You go and buy chicken, buy this, buy that on credit. Post Christmas, after Christmas, you are now living in agony. How will I pay? How will I this? Then they will, those women that say, ah, don't worry, pay small, small. They will come and be knocking at your door. Before you know it, salary never is. You are already having high blood pressure. Don't do that. As a civil servant, don't do that. Save your money. And when you save, you find out that that thing they sold for you for 1000 If you go to the market, it's not 1000 they, they They have added a lot of money on it. You are buying at 10% the price you would have bought if you had your cash. So we are saying, whether post, pre, anyone or don't live in fear don't be in the blue don't have butterflies in your belly don't live in dread don't shake and quake because of fear of accumulated debts and all that no don't horror don't panic don't have qualms why because christ is available he came to pay the price he came to give you joy he came to give you peace in Christ Jesus, we are fearless. And so, our Bible checks here, in Luke chapter 1, verse 12, Zechariah troubled, and fear fell upon him. When he had the good news, fear, his heart fell. His heart failed him. He began to tremble. We are here to see that whatever news come your way this Christmas season, and as you continue all the days of your life, fear not. Why? Because we have him that has the answers. We have him who is a burden bearer. Him who has the answers. Your tomorrow, your today is in his hands. Don't fear. Don't worry. Don't panic. Why? Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. Whosoever cometh to him shall Never die. Jesus, Lord, no. Tito, Ati, ye, ye. Eni, to, ba, ba, bo, ko, ni, ko, no. Thank you so very much. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Akake. Genova, Sia, Born of Love, Mrs. International. The pleasure of bringing you this special series on the Christmas season. The lessons therein, the takeaway. God bless you. On Facebook, we have five vibrant pages, such as scriptures, nation building, ministers of the truth. When you pray, and I pray, there is a God to answer. And, of course, your favorite, online TV, just on the air, all anchored by Band of Love Ministries International. On YouTube, we have over a thousand videos loaded for you. We are on the 2000 video match like share subscribe we have messages that inspire that make meaning that give comfort courage they equip you for life they give you wisdom they consolidate you to your maker and keep your faith alive vibrant in christ jesus like share subscribe are you out there you don't know jesus as your personal lord and savior 
Jesus came that we may have life and have it more, more abundantly. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs>